when it's a child in need of life-saving transportation and the challenge is the distance to much-needed medical help. That's when the Kapilani Medical Center for Women and Children's Transport Team steps in. A recent blessing ceremony celebrated the collaboration of Kapilani's transport program with Emergency Airlift. Together, this ensures life-saving services for critically ill patients and their families who need medical attention either to and from the neighbor islands or transport to the mainland. So in the past, when we had a critically ill patient at Kapiolani, we would have to make several phone calls to air ambulance providers on the mainland to see who was available and when they could position themselves here on, in Honolulu, which can be up to 24 hours or 5 to 7 days. It's now possible to transport a critically ill patient within 24 hours with an emergency airlift aircraft now positioned on Oahu and able to serve Hawaii and the Pacific Rim. All right, folks, we've been clear for takeoff. These people are dedicated to their job, which means they're dedicated to the patients, which I think is really a neat thing to see. And I wanted to be a part of their team uh, because they're just so fun to work with. Kapialani's Critical Care Transport Program for Neonatal and Pediatric Patients, the only program of its kind in the state, supports nearly 600 transports a year. The critical care team includes doctors, nurses and respiratory therapists trained specifically on neonatal and pediatric transport medicine. You're looking after those micro premature babies that are born often at like five months, the, you know, the mom may deliver. So you've got these very, very tiny babies. And then as well, we're taking care of patients that are all the way up to say, our big 18 year old boys, right? So they're seeing the gamut of, of all these age groups as well as all of the specialty equipment that we need for each of those populations to give them the very best care. Ashlyn Bannister's family can attest to that. Ashlyn, now 11 years old, is happy and 100% healthy thanks to the life-saving flight that transported her to Seattle Children's Hospital for intensive cardiac treatment 10 months ago. Her heart stopped twice while she was in the ER. So Dr. Garcia informed me that it's not asthma. There's something wrong with her heart. Ashlyn was diagnosed with myocarditis and was on life support during her flight to the Northwest. Having um, this type of service in Hawaii is super important because without it, she wouldn't be standing here today. And with this winged addition to the team, there should be even more stories with happy, healthy endings taking flight.